Safe use of electrical equipment. Introduction to electricity. What is electricity? Electricity is all around us, and most of us use it every day. But do you really know what electricity is? You first have to start with an atom. Everything in the universe is made up of atoms. Let's look at this ant. We think of ants as being pretty small, but atoms are smaller, much, much smaller atoms are so small. In fact, that one ant is made up of too many atoms to count more than a billion. If you take an object and keep breaking it down to smaller units, eventually, you'll be left with only atoms, which we can call the building blocks of everything. Atoms have a couple of different parts. And a really important part of an atom is called an electron. Not all atoms have the same number of electrons. The number of electrons in an atom can change because electrons can move between atoms. Electricity is the movement or flow of electrons from one atom to another. This flow of electrons is called current electric. Current. Electrons can move in all materials, but they can move through some materials better than others. If electrons can move quickly and easily in a material, then that material is a conductor, a conductors, anything that allows electric current to flow from one point to another. The opposite of a conductor is an insulator. An insulator is a material that does not let electrons move well and doesn't conduct electricity. Have you ever seen the inside of a wire? The inside is usually made up of copper or another conductive metal. While the outside is made of plastic, an insulator, the copper wire helps the electrons flow while the plastic insulator helps keep the electricity from being wasted and prevents us from being shocked. To use electric current to power things. You have to create a complete pathway for the electric current to follow. This is called an electric circuit. An electric circuit is like a racetrack of inductive materials that let the electrons flow in a specific way. For example, let's try to light a light bulb. First, you need a power source like a battery. Next, you need to connect wires to the battery. And finally, the light bulb press do, just like that, the circuit has been completed, and the light bulb lights up to learn more about electricity and circuits explore the curiosity machine. Electric generators work on the principle of electromagnetic induction. A conductor coil or a copper coil, tightly wound onto a metal core is rotated rapidly between the poles of a horseshoe type magnet. When the coil rotates, it cuts the magnetic field, which lies between the two poles of the magnet. The magnetic field will interfere with the electrons in the conductor to induce a flow of electric current inside it. This is how electricity is generated. The rotor shaft is attached with slip rings. The stator surrounds the router and is attached to the three sets of copper wire coils or three-phase windings. There are three sets because the generator is a three-phase generator. The arrangement can be of two or more than two electromagnets. More than a number of poles more. The current produced. Many ships are equipped with jobs and readers with the rotations of the main engine of the ship is used to operate the alternator and generate additional electricity. Electricity is an essential part of modern life. People use electricity for lighting, heating, cooling, and refrigeration and for operating appliances like lights, fans, fridges, computers, electronics, machinery, and public transportation systems.